It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm going to show you a little hack I have. If you have a nice 0.365 hand pull pump like I have, I'm going to show you a hack on how to open one of these and feed a line into one so you can have hand pulled beer from your 5 litre mini keg. Uh, this is a keg of Adnams Go Ship. I'm going to now very quickly just lower this a little bit there we go not much so what you do you need to air the keg so lift lifting that turning it round to number one perfect perfect first time I have done these a couple of times before and uh, it was just kind of foaming and foaming and foaming. It depends on what keg you get, but this seems a, yeah, a, a, a one that's nice and easy. So all you do is you grab a pair of pliers, you pull that up. Ah, now this one has a, ah, so, go. Oh. And then you push the, the little nugget thing inside so then you can feed the beer line in through the top so that's done so what i'm going to do now is set up my 0.365 put the line in i'll show you me putting the line in if you like and then we'll pull a pint see what it's like okay so here we are it says davenport cb original bitter it's not that but that's the only kind of pump clip i got for the moment here is my 0.365 beer engine which i absolutely adore and here is my beer line. So, beer line, grab hold of it, simply stick it into the top of your keg. Grab your pint glass. I was looking around then thinking, where's my pint glass? So I might just pull some of this through a little bit. Here it comes. Just to see what it's like. It smells fantastic. And there we go. Look at that. So I'm going to bring it round now. And we'll get into it. It was the first pull off. But what I love about this system, this Pint 365, is the fact that if you were to just pour a beer straight from this little mini keg it'll be okay it'll still be really hot being really lovely but because it's been pulled through a, a sparkler system on this it's, it's all patented stuff for the pint 365 it pulls like a proper pint and let me show you what i mean by a proper pint it's got a great head on it let's get it to focus have a look as I rock the beer back and forth. You can see that carbonation, that small carbonation chasing the, the head of the glass. Look at that. Great head retention. Lovely creamy head on it. It's 4.5% ABV. A lovely pale ale. It's a little bit of haze going on. But, you know, I've been moving the keg around. I mean, smacking. <laughs> not smacking, but pulling the top off and hacking into this system really to get the beer up but I think it's a really really good hack if you have one of these systems just uh, put the line in like that and then you have a a fresh pint of beer we're heading into it's freezing in the conservatory we're heading into Christmas it's about nine days away from Christmas um, 2020 and I'm really pleased I got another keg 
of Adam's ghost ship to put on my bar. I've got all my beer machines all lined up, ready to go. I got kegs to go on each each one for, for, for Boxing Day. We have a massive party on Boxing Day. I'm just gonna clear the bar down. There's bottles everywhere. I'm gonna clear it all down, get it all out the way, and I'm just gonna let, leave the doors open and let people come and have a party with all the beer machines and, the, and my dad will be happy on the hand pull. He'll be living with this machine. But let's get the aroma on this beer then. It's ghost ship. It's it's lovely. It's really fruity. A little bit of malt coming through that. That Adnams yeast is quite prominent as well. Grapefruit. Bit of tangerine. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. really good I love a pint of ghost ship always have I've never had it on mini keg mind never had a mini keg of it but it is super fresh super fresh super lovely fresh juicy beer much better than the bottle I would say this is much better on keg than it is bottle It's just got a more, it's got a better body. It's got a better body to it. It's got a really good hop character coming through on it. I could just drink pint after pint of it now. So we've got five liters now, five liters on the bar, nine days out from Christmas. I've tapped it for to enjoy at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub um, on Friday night. I like a cask beer, so I'll be in and out. The kitchen's there. We'll be doing a Stone Crow Virtual Pub in the kitchen, but I'll be running out, hand pulling a pint, um, fresh ghost ship at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. That'll be probably for our Christmas party. Our Christmas party. 2020 Friday Night Live Christmas party. Um, I'll probably post this video tomorrow now because I've started talking about the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. There'd be no point advertising our Christmas party if I released this video on Saturday now, would there? It's beautiful. It's a really beautiful beer. Have a look now. Look at the lacing on the glass. Look at that. Look at that body. Look at the way that beer is. Absolutely terrific. Let's give it a rating. I spoke to Pete Brown last night. Pete Brown joined me, joined me on the, the Stone Crow Tuesday Night Live feed. And we had a conversation about home bars. And although, yeah, you're going to do that. You're going to have a... Build a home bar if you can't go to the pub, but they'll never really replace the real pub. But it's, it, it's worth having anyway. If you've got the room, it's worth having a home bar anyway. But it'll never really replace the pub. But, you know, in these current times, you have to kind of make do with what you've got, I suppose. Try and replicate the pub at home the best you can. I like this beer enough. The Ghost Ship on Keg is a solid 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!